Today is December 6th, 2023. In the letter to the Hebrews, it says, For the joy that was set before him, Yeshua endured the cross, despising its shame. For the joy that was set before him. You see, Yeshua humbled himself, taking the form of a servant, not considering equality with God something to be exploited. Even though he was in the form of God, he didn't account equality with God something to be exploited. Because he knew there would be joy through the cross, through his humility. The enemy, Satan, he doesn't like humility. His chief sin was pride. That's why he fell. He didn't want to submit to Jehovah. He wanted to be his own God. He wanted to be in control. And so, really, he's the so-called God, little g God, of pride of selfishness and selfishness leads to misery. I know because I lived a life that was extremely selfish for many years when I was in alcoholism and drug addiction and all kinds of other uh, destructive behaviors. I, I was living the most selfish life you can imagine. And it led me to misery. It was empty. None of those things could fulfill what I truly desired in my heart that I didn't know I desired but what I truly needed. And it was only through submitting myself to Yah that I started to experience true joy and true peace and true happiness. And humility doesn't mean that we just become a doormat and let people walk all over us. That's, that's not what it is. You should be strong in your convictions, but do it with gentleness and love. You know, because we're all fallible. So for one, there's a possibility you might be wrong about something. Be confident when you have a, have a strong conviction, but also realize that you could be wrong. And always leave room for listening to other people and, and hearing another perspective and potentially changing your opinion on things. And another reason is that, you know, if Yah has forgiven us, at least I know for myself, the horrible things that I've done, I need to extend that same mercy to other people. You know, if, if he's forgiven me, how can I hold it against someone for whatever they've done? And again, this doesn't mean that you just... Uh, never call out sin or anything like that. Because there's, there's certain things that we know are sin. But just be patient and, and merciful to others. 
because God knows we've, we've all sinned. We all fall short of the glory of God. And so we need mercy. Yeshua says, unless you forgive others, you, you can't be forgiven yourself. You have to forgive others, and then Abba will forgive you. So, humility is one of the, the key virtues of the Christian life, of following Yeshua. It's one that Satan can't stand, and it's one that ultimately brings joy and happiness. So, that's all I got for today. Peace.